back everybody. Today you'll be seeing Jane and part of me and we're gonna talk about reptile bands because they everywhere now, not only the states, but everywhere people try to take away our beautiful animals and I for one will not stand for it. But having said that, I think it's definitely important that we keep a calm head about it and don't get too over emotional. I'm, I mean, it's an emotional topic, I understand it totally. But it is also very important that we keep in mind that we stay level headed and present ourselves in a rather calm and good manner because this will definitely work in our favor. Whereas if we go totally crazy and bananas, then people will definitely not take us seriously. Um, I just wanted to know, what do you think about these bands? Um, do you think they have some sort of value to them? Do you think they are all right? Or do you think they're totally unnecessary and there should be other ideas that we should follow through? I think uh, as usually there's a happy medium to be found because as you know there are definitely some of us out there I like to call them Rick the Hick that basically keeps whatever kind of animal that they can't handle and either they're too large or for whatever reason they decide to just chuck them out and why not in the backyard they will survive no worries if you're somewhere warm definitely and even if it's colder oh come on who cares i just had to show off my animal to my friends and i'm fed up so why not yeah those people do exist um but most of us i think are responsible keepers and definitely deserve having our beautiful hobby and enjoying our beautiful animals and therefore uh, we should all come to a solution that in the end benefits them rather than us and yeah i'd like to chat with you about it in the comments what do you think and uh, whether or not you're worried about the whole situation because uh, I can say that right now everything, at least where I am, it's, it's okay. But, um, for instance, I can't keep uh, retics. I'd love to keep um, dwarf retics. But even then, they are not allowed here. And um, so my state is rather strict about it. The uh, bows, on the other hand, are fine. That's why I decided to have a boa, uh, because I definitely love larger snakes, not necessarily super large, but, you know, a nice handful like this one here, even though she's not fully grown yet, about three and a half years old. But yeah, I think in total, reptile bans are always a bad idea. Banning something is never a solution. But uh, restricting it in some ways sometimes should be beneficial. Um, also, if you, for instance, think about moving to another state, uh, always keep in mind that you, whether or not you can take your animals with you. I uh, definitely will think about moving someday. And so I definitely want to be prepared for the whole situation that I can keep all my animals, or at least Jane, for instance, because I definitely want to keep her. That's why Australia, for instance, is not an option for me, unfortunately, even though a lovely place. Live there myself. So, yeah. But even if you are in Australia, I mean, there are great options to have and choose from. Aussie wraps are pretty awesome animals. But I love my sweetheart. And as you can see, for the first time really, almost live, how easy to handle she is. Only bit me once and I'm really, really happy having her. Losing her would break my bloody heart. 
and I definitely don't want to go there and therefore I definitely want to be prepared for everything so if ever I decide to move somewhere else I'm sure that she comes with me but what do you think should there be some regulation maybe how uh, people can keep them or who can keep them maybe some sort of certificate that you have some sort of test that you have to to do uh, in order to show for that you can keep them just fine and that you have the knowledge I think it's all interesting and I think many people are thinking about these things in the future so definitely something to think about but for now I'm rather happy that I can keep it just the way I want it um, I basically keep it free roaming anyway so there shouldn't be any trouble regarding the, the size uh, the enclosure, although I have a six foot enclosure place at all times, so she can definitely enjoy that, and she does. I just uh, took her out, even though she has the option to just crawl out, and it's nice and warm here all year round. Central heating, so no worries. Um, yeah, but I think reptile bans in general are a bad idea, and I hope we are far away from it, and that you as Ark, for instance, will do their awesome job uh, bloody love you guys really awesome what you do and yeah support them definitely if you're in the states and even if you're not consider supporting them um, so because maybe you also like have reptiles and want to buy some from the states many people do and so you might want to support the whole system in general. Anyways, um, a huge shout out to my mate uh, W Exotics um, or ex Exotics on YouTube. Um, he uh, made a video the other day about reptile bands. I really didn't mean to steal your idea or anything. I, uh, I thought about it as well. And as so often, uh, as of late, I come up with some idea and then someone else is making a video just uh, the same, basically almost the same topic. So, but I think I kind of covered other fields as well, but definitely make sure to check him out. I leave his details in the description. Uh, so yeah, Dre, pretty awesome video you made. And I hope you enjoyed this too, if you watched it. If not, no worries. And yeah, let me know also whether you like this format. I really love uh, filming it this way. It's really a lot easier and I think a lot more personal too. Uh, as much as I love the guys from uh, Paxels, uh, they provide videos and also footage for you for free that you can use as long as you mention their names. The photographers and the filmmakers but I definitely think uh, having your own footage and showing off your own beautiful animals like here you can see Jane uh, is a great benefit and a lot more enjoyable for you guys and I want to make the best content possible so let me know uh, what you guys think if you haven't already then please consider subscribing now you've seen what uh, might come in the future and I plan on doing a lot more maybe even some out, outdoor stuff uh, the weather's pretty nice now so who knows there are plenty of things we can do and enjoy and yeah to everyone out there also my colleagues and friends in the reptile hobby and content creators I hope you have a great start into the year and get to enjoy your hobby and doing what you love because I think it's a bloody awesome thing to have all, all this and I enjoy it very much hope you do too and stay tuned and tuned cheers you guys catch you later and if you like what you just saw make sure to hit that like button also the subscribe button as well as the bell not to miss any future videos
You can also follow the Replicate's journey on Instagram for even more awesome content.